The last time we talked about the drama between Selena and Haley, we talked about how some people were starting to think things were going a bit too far. The drama had been going on for weeks and there was no signs of it slowing down anytime soon. When Selena returned to TikTok after her break, she came back with that get ready with me using only rare beauty products and she left a message for her fans in the comments writing, please, please be kinder and consider others mental health. My heart has been heavy and I only want good for everyone, all my love. And to me and a lot of other people, that was Selena addressing it. She wasn't going to say Haley's name because she probably knew that would get even more people talking, but that was her saying enough is enough. We know that Selena was taking Haley's actions as shade and bullying, and we know that by the comments Selena was leaving on TikToks talking about the whole situation. I'm not even like an avid follower of the situation, but isn't Haley the one that like begs Selena to tell off her fans? for bullying her. But I guess she started to see that things were going a bit too far. Selena's whole brand is about positivity and mental health, so I'm sure she didn't want this whole hate campaign created in her defense. Last week, the conversation started to switch a bit and some people were feeling like things were going way too far and it was starting to be bullying itself. A lot of people were picking apart Haley's appearance to the point Haley actually got on Instagram and poked fun at the jokes being made about her face herself. When the criticism started to cross over into picking apart people's appearances and talking about her marriage and other really personal stuff, a lot of people, specifically on TikTok, started to say enough is enough. I just have a question, okay? All I've been seeing is Selena Haley, Haley Selena. People are upset because Haley Bieber bullied Selena or they think she bullied Selena. You can debate that, that's up to you. But my thing is, I've been seeing a lot of videos with people talking about Haley's husband, her marriage, her career, her finances, the way she looks. And if we're upset that Haley bullied Selena, why are we now bullying Haley? Like, how does that make sense? Isn't that a little bit of an eye for an eye? I mean, like, I get it. If she, bu if she bullied Selena, she definitely should face consequences. But should those consequences be bullying? I mean, she has businesses that you can choose not to support. She has social media accounts that you can choose not to interact with. But is bullying the answer? And I guess I'm just wondering, does it matter who's being bullied? Or should we just focus on the fact that bullying is wrong? We also saw the conversation was starting to shift when Jeffrey posted his road review. A lot of people thought Jeffrey was actually going to review the products, but he ended up dragging her and her brand and then tossing it in the trash. Okay, you guys, I don't even know what to say. This is so boring. I'm not even trying to be funny for once. This is what she's giving. In this house, we are team Selena and we are team not bullying anyone. So we're going to skip today's review. Wait, 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 she doesn't even deserve a pink trash can. And just like Shawn Mendes said, bye. And there were some people who thought the review was a little bit harsh. Some comments left under his review were saying things like, isn't this bullying too? Team not bullying anyone, well bullying someone. And Jeffrey ended up defending himself and said he was just being honest and he thinks it's crazy how hard people ride for celebrities who don't even know they exist. What I don't like is anyone trying to flip it on me. Jeffrey, you're bullying the bully. I just did an honest review and I never said I got PR. I just think it's so amusing how hard people ride for these people. Another huge reason the conversation was starting to shift a bit was because a lot of people think this eyebrow post from Kylie actually had nothing to do with Selena. Kylie revealed this week that she was actually launching a mascara, and some people think that's what she was referring to being an accident in this picture. Since this whole situation has been going on for so long now, Selena herself is coming out to address the drama. Early this morning, Selena took to her Instagram and pretty much said Haley reached out to her about the hate she was getting, and she wants her fans to leave the situation alone. She wrote, Haley Bieber reached out to me and let me know that she has been receiving and such hateful negativity. This isn't what I stand for. No one should have to experience hate or bullying. I've always been an advocate for kindness and really want this all to stop. 
and a lot of fans are praising Selena for this statement, leaving comments like, Selena doesn't owe anybody anything, honestly. No comment. Selena, you are just too nice. Selena, the fact that you have to post a story saying to stop the hate talks volumes about you. Such a kind heart. This is something her husband should address, not you. And that's one comment I keep seeing over and over again. A lot of people feel like Selena shouldn't have been the one to come to Haley's defense, and they think Justin should have spoken out and said something. There were tons of comments saying things like, it's the husband's role to defend his wife, not the ex-girlfriend though. Why doesn't she ask her husband to speak up for her? That ex speaking out before the hubby is wild. But I do think Selena releasing the statement is actually a good thing. It shows that Selena is taking the initiative to ask people to stop and it doesn't give Hilly the chance to say Selena never stepped in. That she has been in this industry much longer than I have and maybe there's something that she knows about like it wouldn't fix anything. Last year, we all thought this was all in the past, especially when Hilly and Selena were pictured together, but clearly not. Selena and Haley are now both following each other on Instagram, with Selena following her first, and then Haley following Selena back. Maybe that's their way of trying to show their fans that they're moving past this and they're talking privately, so everyone needs to move on as well. A few hours after Selena made her post, Haley also broke her silence with an Instagram story writing, I want to thank Selena for speaking out, as her and I have been discussing the last few weeks how to move past this ongoing narrative between her and I. The last few weeks have been very hard for everyone involved, and millions of people are seeing so much hate around this, which is extremely harmful. While social media is an incredible way to connect and build community, moments like this only create extreme division instead of bringing people together. Things can always be taken out of context or construed differently than they were intended. We all need to be more thoughtful about what we post, what we say, including myself. In the end, I believe love will always be bigger than hate and negativity. And there is always an opportunity to meet each other with more empathy and compassion. So this is pretty big. I would have never guessed that Haley and Selena were actually talking behind the scenes for weeks now, so that's probably going to be a big shock for a lot of people. I'm going to go ahead and guess that they both know they'll probably never be best friends, but they recognize that fans are still picking up on subtle things and actions need to be taken to make sure that doesn't happen again. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below. Do you think Selena made the right choice by speaking out about the drama? And what did you make of Haley's response? Let me know and I'll see you next time.